So I've got this extension cord uh, hooked up to the house. Goes all the way down there, comes down to this stake I put in the ground, goes across the creek and run this reciprocating sawzall. So I wouldn't have been able to cut this root out if I didn't have this saw and that extension cord. Here's the view from the creek bed. There's the two poles on that side. 54 foot span to those poles. From here down to here, there'll be a static cable with no turnbuckle on it. Uh, just to stabilize it. The turnbuckles will actually be on this side. I haven't put the eye bolt in yet. And then it'll obviously go across to there. Since I don't have a cable cutter, I am using a vise and some vise grips coming closer. And uh, if you can see here, there's just a small area and that's where I'm going to cut so that um, both sides of the cable doesn't fray. So it's about 8.30 and I'm getting the cabling connected here. Uh, so I got the turnbuckle here um, and just the quarter inch cabling. And the way I've made it taut or tightened it up was just get my vice grip, uh, pinch the end and turn it a bit to pull it tight and then to pull up the slack. Obviously I'll use the turnbuckle. Since I didn't want to figure out the math uh, of you know, figuring out the length of this cabling that will go in between the upper and the lower supports, uh, I just decided to grab my tape measure, 100 foot tape measure, and string it through and then um, each of these will be separated by each of these where it comes down to the lower support will be separated by about 10 feet. So then I can figure out the length of this cable and how long to cut it. The planking across the bridge will be uh, about five inch wide oak boards. Uh, I got these on auction last fall, and so they're pretty rough. Uh, I don't want splinters when people go across, so what I'm doing is just planing them down uh, so they're a little bit smoother. So to hold the boards on the cables, what I'm using is um, actually a bunch of metal strapping cut into pieces. Um, needless to say, that's a huge job. But anyways, uh, these boards are upside down. And so the cable will go right through here under this piece. So pretend this is the cable. It's going to go, I can do this with one hand. It's going to go just like that. And I'm going to screw it in there. Well, we went handed, not, not bad.